What's up, everybody? We're back with Spyro the Dragon Reignite, Reignite Trilogy. This time we're gonna go to the Magic Factors. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. That sounds like Hugo from Skylanders. Jump in the balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Dreamweavers. My mistake. Are I thought it was Magic Factors. Yep. There you go, the Dreamweavers. <laughs> Yeah, I always felt like Dreamweavers had the most medieval feel. And I could be mistaken, but I think this is the last homeworld before Nasty the Norks homeworlds. Here we go. Oh, we have crystals at, at the platform now. Yep, see what I mean about medieval? I just love all the bright colors. Bright green grass. Of course, the same can be said in every level here. There's a portal of dark passage. But I love the portal design right here. I actually like the portal designs in other games like the, the Game Boy Advance games, like Season of Ice and Flames. I know a lot of people didn't like those games because the uh, of the poor design. And I can't agree with you about the, the poor design, but I enjoy them for the most part. But let's stick with this game for right now. And you no, know, I don't plan on making videos for those games for the, for the same reason as I get a trophy yeah I have to hit a fairy over there to get game passage pass those chickens I assume they're chickens so many creatures in Spyro a triple whirlwind nice let's first let's get this dragon as we rescue the Como. Yeah, that's the same. Sparrow, nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Soon, Spyro. Soon. I'm glad we did that because we'd be getting those gems that I totally would have missed. And I would be running around the level frantically, saying to myself, Where are the gems? Where are the. As I fall. Of course. Now let's swim this one. We get more cannons. Like in uh Beast Peacekeepers. I double think of the name for a second. If I can maneuver it. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to leave them big. There we go. Let's get these critters over here. Should have got that one first. But first, let's see what other treasures are here. And there's a portal of haunted towers. Of course, we're not going to go any portals yet. Man, you're fast. Oh, I forgot about those. The enemies you flame and the and 
trigger clock for a countdown. That's gonna take me over there, I know it. Don't wanna go over there yet. I have a feeling that's this is gonna take me to a hard reach, hard reach area. I stand corrected. As I rescue Mazi. Nice name. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Yeah, as we just saw. Well, let's do a little backtrack into the beginning of the level. I love those floating rock islands and the skies with the with the waterfalls. Gives the world a lot more meaning or more touch, I should say. Did I get these gems? Anyway, why did I come back over here? Oh yeah, to get that one last chicken. We get chickens. Where's the last one at? Yeah, over there. Any day now. As I, as, am I, as I, um, I'm about to do even more backtracking. I don't want to go on that portal accidentally. And I, as I do another loop, back to the beginning of the level. There's the sun. For a second, I thought that portal was a dragon. <laughs> well, I love these uh, emerald blocks next to, the, next to the pool. I really wanted to jump in those pools. But, as you know, I would die if I do that. But I'll get my chance later on. Just for swimming as I rescue Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. I don't think that's meant to be taken literally. As we find the portal to Lofty Castle. I was hoping the fireworks took those two chests. Somehow, somehow I feel like I need to get up there. Oh, where am I going? Let me get my barons. I want to turn on the original music. There's our speedway. I see flight. Hopefully it's easier than wild flight. Watch. I go in and I be marking my words. Don't want to go there yet. I said it before, I'll say it again. You should always look carefully for gems in the spiral games. 
because they just blend in right in the grass. Yeah, that way. Well, that's one disadvantage of, of new graphics. Realistic grass side gems. In the PS1, the grass was flat, so the gems stand it stood out more. I love the auroras in the sky. Yeah. That's one thing about the Reignited Trilogy. I like more than the PS1 versions. But of course I'm going to keep my copies of the PS1 versions. Put on a stake. stick. Little tokens. Keepsakes. And there's our portal to the boss. And I know how to pronounce that name. Jacques. Because he's French. And some people think it's Jacques. But that's not the way, the right way to pronounce it. Let me check if the next world is Nasty's world. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. I have an idea. Nasty's world is... Not the friendliest place you'll ever find. I agree. Are you ready to go? Nope. Yeah, I complete these worlds first. Yeah, I just want to check if Nasty's world was the next world. And I'm sure only five gems? Ten gems. Yeah. You know the drill. If I can't find them right away, I'm cutting out the time. Don't waste your guys' time. Well, let's switch back to Greek Day music. Yeah, I see the last of the gems over there. So all I have to do is a little bit more backtracking. Yeah, I don't think it was in the area yet. Haunted Towers. If I could be mistaken as he kicks me off the ledge. Not cool, man. Not cool. But at least I know where I go now. I can collect these life orbs to build up a new, another life. And that's all of them. Nice. And levels complete. Next up. Is Haunted Towers. Thank you for watching.